welcome to macrocode if you're new to this channel consider subscribing so if you watch our videos previously you can be able to follow up that we had uh, created uh, an api an employee api and linked it to our mobile app that is dotnet my so we have this uh, mobile app that we have been creating over time so if you are new to this channel you can consider watching and be able to see what we have done so far so today i'm going to show you guys how to generate an apk from our app so this is the app that we have just created so you are going to see how we can publish this app then you can be able to host it uh, somewhere or even share for someone to install on their devices so to begin with let's go to our app so this is our app uh, we can actually stop it so i want us to open the terminal so just come to view then a uh, terminal so it will open a terminal for us so we are going to use this terminal to generate our apk so i'll just uh, try to expand it so that you can be able to follow so on my terminal i'm going to i have uh, something here that you are going to uh, use so there's this a uh, command that i want us to copy so this command i want us to copy here Sorry, let me just exit. So I want us to copy this command. So I'll just do that. So I want us to modify some things. So you can see we have the key tool, then uh, all of these commands. So on my app, my app.keystone, I want to change this, the name of my key uh, stone. So I want to call this a uh, key. Then my alias so i'm going to change my alias of the uh, my app key to something else so we can call this uh employee app so that is my alias then uh my validity of the certificate so you can see the validity here so you can change this validity based on how you will want it to be valid so when you press enter it will it will ask you for enter the keys keystone password remember the keystone that we have given it is the key dot keystone so that is the name please remember it so i'm going also to provide the password for for our keystone so you also need to remember that password so for me i'm going to do admin one two three so that is the keystone that i'm going to use admin one two three so remember also that password because we'll need it somewhere else so it is also saying what is your first name and a last name. So I'm going to provide macro code. Then what is the name of your organization unit? So I'm going to say macro code. So you can also do the same. Then what is the name of your organization? I'm going to use macro code. So for this, I'm just doing for testing and showcasing for you guys how you can be able to publish your app. app uh produce an apk share for uh, uh, people to actually install it on their devices so what is the name of your organization i'm going to provide a macro code but you can as well do the same for your uh, what is the name of your city i'm going to say nairobi then uh what is the name of your state or province i'm going to say nairobi so it's kind of a questions so you will be able to answer some of these questions then it says what is the two letter country code for these units so the country code is ke which is for kenya so hope you can be able to see my screen guys then if i press enter it will actually give me all the information that i've been are doing you can see the the organization unit is macro code the organization is macro code the the first and last name is macro code the city is nairobi the state or province is nairobi and the two letter keyword is uh, ke so correct so if it's correct it's asking you to confirm if it is actually correct so i'll say yes so if i do that it will generate so it it will generate my key uh, and the certificate with a validity of 10000 days so the 10000 days that it is showing here is what we actually provided at the top here so you'll be able to provide the number of days that you'll want your your certificate to be valid 
So one thing that it's interesting, guys, is if you come to our app now, you'll be able to see that certificate has been generated somewhere on our app. So you'll be able to see it here. So as you can see on my screen, we have the key dot keystone. So that is the only thing that you will need to have done. So I'll also encourage you to keep note of uh, some of this information that you have provided here because we'll actually need it. So how do we need, uh, going to use this information? So come to our app. So come to our app. Then uh, on the project, right click. Then go to uh, edit. So we are going to edit project file. So go to edit project file. So it will open for you the project file. So I'll just uh, copy this. So on this project file, you can be able to see that it has the root name, the, uh, the, the, the implicit using. It also have the target framework that it's using. It has the application ID, as you can see, the application GUID ID, and also the versions of the, of the app. So it also have the icons, uh, the splash screens, the images, and the custom fonts. So what I need you to do, you can also see the sum of the packages that we have. We have it here. So these are the packages that we have been able to use it on our mobile app, and also the pages. So you can see the pages that we have on our, our, our app, that is the XAML uh, pages. So what uh, we need to do, there is something I want you guys to add on the just before the project uh, tag and tag. So I want you to add this a line of a code. So you see all this. I want us to copy this and add it here. So we need to update uh, this information. So the, our target, so you can see the target framework is Android and configuration should be a release. Then uh, the Android keystone is true, then assigning Android signing keystone. So we need to provide the Android assigning keystone based on the name that we have here. So remember the name that you provided to your keystone, this name. So we should actually uh, copy this name and have it here. So I'll just update this here. So this should be key dot keystone, the way it is on our generated keystone. Then the liars, you remember the uh, key liars that we have. So ensure you provide the correct liars here. Uh, but if it's wrong, but if you forgot, then you can repeat all of this process and delete this keystone, then you'll be able to get the liars. So our liars, you can see it is employee app. So for those who, those who had not uh, closed this window, then you can actually refer it back. So you can see employee app. So that is the name I'm going to provide here. So it is employee app. Then the password. Remember the password that we had provided. So I'm going to have mine, uh, admin123. So after that, uh, we are set to go. So I'll close that. Then if I save my app, after you have added all these information, then you can save your app. And I want us to do something now. So come to our terminal again. So come to our terminal. So the next thing that you are going to do is to now publish our app to produce the uh, uh, APK, the released APK. So we have all this code, eh? .NET publish, then uh, the .NET version that you are running, and, and actually we are deploying it in a release mode. Then you can provide the Android key password and the store password. So we can actually uh, copy this line of code here. Come to our come to our terminal. So this is our terminal. So this is after you have added all those on our project uh, file. So you can see this is what we need. So we'll actually provide our password. We'll say admin one two three, the one that we have just provided. I'll also do admin. One, two, three. After that, I'll just press enter. Then it, it should be able now to generate my key based on the information that I've uh, added to this uh, project. So I should be able to get the uh, uh, APK key, redistribute the APK key for my uh, people to actually install it or even our users to install it and use the app. So let's see. So let's see how it all goes. 
so this is my so this it is are now generating the apk key we can wait and see how it all goes so it's trying to optimize the assemblies for size may change based on the behavior of the app be sure to test after publishing so it's now publishing our app so the process may take a while so let's just wait and see how it all goes So our app, so our APK has uh, completed. So we have uh, completed generating our APK. So you can actually uh, find where. It, so we are. We can actually get it under a bin. So you'll be able to get it under bin folder, then release, then dot uh, net seven, net seven dot zero Android. Then uh, when you get inside, you'll be able to see we have the publish folder remember we have just published our app then you'll be able to see the three files that it has actually generated so we have the the signed file which is a dot apk so you can see the signed file is actually dot apk so that is the file that you should actually take and use it so that is how you generate apk in dotnet maui see you on our next series